Hello everybody, happy Saturday to you, welcome to the stream, I'm Iggy Kid. We are gonna warm up with some uh, Mario Kart, in fact I should put that in here. Warming up with Mario Kart 8. Just change up the tags real quick. So one person operation here, so you'll have to bear with me, unfortunately. Go 100% single player. Done, okay. And then yeah, we're gonna be cranking through more of Arceus. I'm just gonna be focusing on getting through that story. Uh, I think, yeah, my goal, my goal is to finish it before Card Shark comes out. Uh, maybe I'll finish it even before Kirby comes to, uh, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards comes to Switch Online because that is coming soon on the 20th, so next week, oh, I'm so excited. That's like my favorite Kirby game. Easily one of my favorite N64 games, love it. Never got that far though. There's like a bunch of, if you 100% it, you get like something. I don't know, they imply that there's something you get if you 100% it, so I'm gonna try and do that on stream sometime. It is just like a side scrolly thing, so why not? But uh, yeah, for now, we still gotta get this super, super cat cup or whatever. Was what it? Lucky cat cup. We're close. We've gotten close a few times. It's the ninja hideaway that gives me a lot of trouble, so I gotta practice that one. But I think I can probably get it, you know, while I'm uh, warming up here, maybe? I'll just do a few attempts, you know, I don't wanna spend too much time. And I do have a hard limit on how long I can stream today because at six o'clock is the Creator Clash. It's a boxing event featuring a bunch of different YouTubers, a few who I'm familiar with, a few who I'm not. And yeah, just uh, real weird matchups, like Alex Ernst from Vine <laughs> matched up with Ryan McGee from Super Mega. Like, how is that gonna go? No clue, but I'm very excited to find out, you know? Um. Uh, Nathan Barnett as dad versus uh, Matt Watson from Super Mega. Pretty sick. Whoops. Ah, it's all right. I got that. We're still in the first lap. Come on. Get out of here, boo. I do like that he has the, the super pink, uh, like, classy car. Looking like dang Elvis over here. Oh, 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 oh. I can see okay, I can see out the side. Sometimes you get lucky and he only gives you a couple little splats. Woo! Oh, got me real close. Didn't have an option there. Hey, hey! Stop that. It's fine, it's fine, it's lap two. We got plenty of time. Well, it's just about lap three, but nobody's that far ahead of me. So I think I'll be okay. Anuki Mario? I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, he's drafting off me, huh? Well, same to you, pal. I ran out. Ooh! Yeah, the way, King Boo. Ah, dip! Ah, I got got. Yeah, I don't think. I think I can catch it. Oh, maybe. Maybe if I get him right here. Ooh, nope, not quite. All right, we'll just restart so we don't have to go through the whole ending animation bit, which is fine. Let me turn up my mic just a notch. There we go. I can hear myself a little better. Hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Let me know if there's any audio problems. I can always adjust either the game volume or myself. And I think I am still a little desynced because of my computer's rendering. Not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Like, I can do the sync offset, but it's like, it's so much work and almost nobody says anything, so. Whatever. I think that might have been early. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Got it. Oh. 
You need to remember, you don't drift unless you can get at least blue sparks. It's just a waste of time. It's all right, it's all right. How do you hold the single items behind you? I've never, like, that's been a thing since, I think, original Mario Kart, right? But I've just never figured out how to do it. I can, you know, I can shoot them behind me. I know how to do that, but holding them behind, I don't know. Seems like it'd be a lot better than uh, just hoping to shoot them back at the right time. And don't get tricked by that. Let's just, yeah, let's get ourselves some fresh items. Get the blue sparks, there we go. Woo! All right. Uh, no! Oh, 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 oh! It's okay, it's okay, it's still lap two. And I got a pretty decent lead. We're just gonna, we're gonna slap some banana behind us. I think that'll be just fine. I see Ludwig creeping up behind me, but I think I'll be okay. And we're just gonna, oops, whoa, uh oh. Ah, dip. Ah, that's the worst. Ah, no. Man, I need to remember to, like, have some caffeine or something before I do these streams, because the best streams always seem to be when I've, you know, had a little caffeine or sugar or something to lift my mood. Just like, it's too many of my streams, I come on not realizing that I'm a little too tired to stream, and I end up getting real crabby and shouty. It's bad streams, man. Just gotta, gotta get in a better mood, have something to eat, have something to, to bring my energy up, you know, stay hydrated, of course. All right, here we go. Bam. Get out of the way, Mario. Mario! What are you doing in the way, Mario? It's always interesting to me. Hearing people people from New York say Mario, which is probably more correct, I would assume, because they probably know more people actually named Mario. Then uh, Nintendo themselves will often say Mario. I think that's because in Japanese it would be Mario. I think that's half the reason they use that name because it's one that actually, you know, works. Um, and then, um. Luigi kind of works. You know, they don't have the letter L, but like Luigi still makes sense. And Wario, probably most people know that that's just a portmanteau of Waru, meaning bad, and Mario. Um, and then Waruigi makes a lot more sense. Waluigi is a little confusing to the American mind, but when you when you understand why he's called that, it's it's a it's a pretty clear pun. Ah dip. Alright, alright, I deserve that. Oh, oh, straight up Mario this time, really. Uh, no, why'd it go for the banana? I wanted to go for the fella! Yeah, I'm having the worst trouble with this one. I don't know what's up. I don't know well, what I'm to do about it. I can't even get past the first race. Yeah, I really wish there was just a... A, um... What else can I do here? Cyber Slick. That looks cool. Yeah, let's go for the Cyber Slick. 
Um, yeah, just like a reset, like restart the Grand Prix. I get why you wouldn't do it in some cases, but like when you're playing single player Grand Prix, there's no reason that it needs to, uh, that you need to go all the way out. Seems a little silly. Brown. Nice. There we go. There we go. Hey, no. No. Let me, let me get you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I gotta remember to draft. It's not something I've been doing for most of these cups, but like, I, I realized with these last few attempts that it's really the, a game changer, you know? It really determines who uh, ends up in front. Oh, nice try. I saw that popping in. My real goal, if I like had the, the time and the like gumption, would be to, um, would be to learn how to just like nail people with the banana, like just throw it right in front of them so they literally have no time to react. But, you know, that's, that's would take so much time that I could spend on, I don't know, some else. Maybe I'll do that as a stream series after I 100% this, you know, someday in the far flung future. Because it's taken us so long just to do the 150. Can't imagine how long the 200cc is going to take. Get him, get him. Uh -huh. No, 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 I just had to. I had to. For safety. Alright, alright. And then we are good! Ink me. Fine. I don't even care. Well, that wasn't even a very bad ink pattern either. I could still see pretty decently. Next race. The concept of the ink is very clever. I do appreciate that from a design standpoint. But from a player standpoint, I find it very frustrating, you know? It's uh it's a little bit annoying. Sorry, I was just checking. I feel like the right the right uh headphone cup might have dimmed a little bit. I hope not. I haven't really had these headphones that long. Um, they are very nice, though. The big thing is they're super isolated. Like, they're not quite noise-canceling, but when I'm wearing them, I literally can't hear my own voice. I can only hear my own voice rumbling in my own head. And then, you know, you, you turn on uh, monitoring so that you can hear your own voice. And it works out pretty good. All right, we're going around. We're going around. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. I have a pretty pretty big lead, so we're good. Oh, is that how you do it? Oh, you just hold the button. And it holds it behind you. I see. It's a little cumbersome and awkward, but that that's probably pretty useful. At least on a defensive stand. Whoops. Okay. Squid and lightning is like not that hard to deal with, but it's just annoying enough, you know? Whoa. Uh, not great. Yeah, yeah, that's super helpful. Way better than trying to time it. She should have been doing that this whole time. Oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty. 
And now my hind is protected by whatever item I might have at the time. Bam, there we go. All right. First two really aren't a problem. Sky Garden can be a little annoying because it's so short that uh, you can never really get super far away from anybody. And then Ninja Hideaway just has so many different options. That, uh, yeah, a lot of options and a lot of, like, really hard corners. It's not meant to be a, um, a racing track. It's meant to be a building that someone would actually hang out in. So it doesn't have, like, a nice, smooth, naturalistic thing like this. Brown. But that's okay. These clouds look so like solid. Kind of freaks me out. Hyper dense. I wish you could pull the item back in after you uh after you do that though. Because then if the red shell doesn't come, it feels wasted. Whoa. All right. Yeah, that's the other thing is because it's so short, it gets really clogged up with bananas. That third, third lap, it's just bananas left and right, and you really gotta gotta be surgical with your handling to make it through. Get us something good. I'd appreciate yes, a boom box. There we go. I don't know if that's what they're called. It makes sense, right? Though it's a box. It goes boom. There we go. So now we're safe. If someone blue shells, not gonna matter too much. So right at the end. Up. Oh, up. Oh, well, I dropped it anyways. Oh well. It's all good. All right, now it's Ninja Hideaway. Can we manage? Mm. Let's find out. I'm always gonna go with the low route here, I think, because I keep going for the high route thinking it might be faster, but then I actually can't make it up top because I'm too heavy, and I end up trying to get down here and I can't get it behind in time, which is obnoxious. All right, that's a good start. Already in first. Ending around here can be tricky. Those bananas are always in the same formation because they're actually shy guys. Yeah, we'll just keep on the low routes because there's a little more room to maneuver. Then we will uh, take it off all these. That's the that's the trouble spot right there. It's like a very narrow passage where you can actually pull that off. Going around, going around. Okay, okay. Now we just got to do a little hippie hop. I got a pretty solid lead, but that can disappear in moments. Yep, like right there. Oh, please, let me land. Oh, pull me, yes. Okay, Lakitu pulled me the correct direction. I'm going to skirt through here. All right, got large enough that I can do the jumps. So we'll do a jump off this. And a uh, drift right there. Then a immediate drift the other direction. Oh, I wanted to drift off that too. Or rather, uh, do a trick. All right, it's all good. Oh, I'm going pretty quick. Gotta be careful. 
see that mushroom seems like it'd be useful, but it's in such an awkward spot that I feel like it'd actually be a pretty bad situation for me. Watch out for the shy guys. We we're pretty close. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I got it. It's a trouble spot right at the end here, though, that I really want to be careful about. Good. Yes, yes, yes. And there we go. 150 CC. Lucky Cat Cup get and 150 CC get. Ah, oh, it finally happened. Only took 20 minutes, too. I think I'm going to give the first 200 CC a shot. <clears throat> and then uh, probably leave it at that for the warm up. I don't need to do too much, too much of a warm up with uh, this particular one. I'm already feeling pretty good. There it is, the full 150 CC. Feels good. Been working on it for a long time. Ah, oh. and then of course. We got the other cups coming, but you're not out yet. Uh, we'll save the mirror image courses for later. I think if I do the 200 CC, coming back to the mirror image will feel a little easier. All right, let's give it a shot with the mushroom cup. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be real tricky. Chairs are real squeaky. I need to get a new one. I said that on a the last stream, I think. All right, right, this one, this one. All right. Let's see just how fast this goes. Okay. This is pretty manageable so far. Oh no, oh geez, oh wow, oh that's so fast. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's so fast! Uh, uh, oh geez, oh drifting is gonna be way trickier here. Wow, yeah, this is absurdly fast. It feels like I'm constantly in a boost. Oh my god. Um, oh, okay. It looks like drifts are still viable. They're just, um... Yeah, your timing on them has to be, like, pristine. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god, Link's coming. Link's coming, he's right behind me. Okay, oh yeah, that's actually much better because it always keeps it directly behind you where the red shell's coming. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fast. Ooh, yeah, this is, I can already tell, like, Neo Bowser City later is gonna be ridiculous at this speed. Well, thankfully, because I'm going so fast, the, uh... Slowdowns are not even as big a deal. Ah! <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. Oh boy. Next race. Let's go. Yeah, I'm this is just a practice run. So I'm not too worried about missing out, but yeah, wow, this is obscene speed. Go! Oh, crap. Spun out. Ah. Whoa! On the plus side, all of my attempts are gonna be so much faster. Because, like, we're moving, like, 30% faster, so all of the tracks are gonna take a third as long to do. Ah, ah, ah. 
Come on, come on, turn. Turn for me. There we go. Woo! Yeah, I zipped through that like nobody's business. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is a nightmare. It's so fast. It's also that I still have my, like, top speed loadout, so, like, I'm going, as far as I can tell, the fastest you possibly can um, in this game. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult. But it means that coming back to 150cc and stuff will be, uh... A delightful breeze in comparison. Oh, come on, man. That's just pointless. Woo! Oh, that's tight. Oh, boy. Third? Okay. Third for a practice run, and it was a close third, too. Not bad, not bad. Next race. Oh, wow, yeah, it's only been like three minutes. I'm already through the first two races. God, Sky Garden is going to go by like in a friggin' blink of an eye. Nope, that was too early. Yeah. I don't know why I'm losing it on that now. Uh, 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 uh. Woo! Ooh. Nice long drift on this. It really feels like they just like hit pass forward. This is so uh Whoa! Right into soup. Right into syrup. Oh, knocked over the ice cream. I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Oh, he munched me. Munchy man. Please, don't. Whoa! You know what I think I'm going to do? Because um, I have alerts right now, but I'm just using a stock alert. I think what I'll do is actually like set up some custom alerts with uh, music. I should put together some like wacky like 90s synth music to go along with uh, my, my kind of retro wave background I got. Yeah, wow, the positioning changes so fast. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. oh, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Oh, wait. The, uh, the squid has actually gone faster, too, so I guess... Oh, yep. Ran to soup. That's what I'm gonna have to... gonna have to practice a little more. And this area... This area is going to be real tricky. Oh, but I got it right at the end. Didn't do too bad. Did, didn't do too bad, but that is the first cup, so it is one of the easier ones. And I believe we have one more. What's the last one here? Ah, Thwomp Ruins. Not too difficult, I don't think. So let's let's crank through it. Was a little late. Oh, we could have done that a little bit earlier. Ah, ah, no. Oh, oh I remember. I remember now. I did that all the time last time I uh, was cranking through this one. Oh, geez. Get off me. Get off of me, Waluigi. Ah! I barely keep up. It's so fast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa.
Woo, there we go. Oh my god, that's the end of the lap already? Yeah, 200 CC goes by so quick. I almost actually got this one. Huh. I guess it's just like, you know, it is like the first one. And maybe my style has just like really helped me in having the, the quick reflexes required for 200 CC. Because even though I have pretty low acceleration, I like, it actually doesn't matter as much at this, this stage of the game. Whoa. Because even my slow acceleration only takes like half a second to crank up. And once we're going max speed, man, it's all bets are off. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's a little tricky. The camera is kind of weird in that spot. Uh, 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 uh. Can't, can't. Take out my friend, little Munchy. Ooh, Fourth. Whatever. I placed, I'm pretty sure. That's something at least. Pretty sure if you get over 45, you still, you at least get the cup. I think. Maybe you have to get in at least third. I don't remember. Yeah, 200 CC, so fast, so fast. Okay, yeah, you get the cup, you just don't get any stars. That's all right. Um, this is just a practice run. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to take a quick break and switch over to the main game for the day. So, don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back with Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. Okay, okay. Nope, oh, come on.
Hey everybody, I am back. Let's get into some Arceus. We're set up for the next section of the story. I gotta go increase my star rank with Celine real quick. Um, and I think I might have to unlock a new area too, but yeah, let's let's pick up some requests while we're in here. Sup? There you are. I've been looking for you. My sister Wanda went off to the Cobalt Coast Lynch and she never came back. I've asked her fellows in the security corps to be on the lookout, but they haven't found her. I'm so worried. Do you think you can find her? You can use that old kerchief of hers again if you need to track her down by her scent. Please find Wanda again for me. She should be somewhere in the Cobalt Coast Lands. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. Any other stuff around here? No, I know there's one out in town they'll pick up before uh, I leave. Progress report. Yep. Yes, I do. That should be enough. Yes. Mm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself another star. Star four out of ten. Okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, leaden ball. How is the leaden? I guess it's a heavier, right? Black tumblestone. I, I have all that stuff. Hyper potions. Super potion of Vivichoke. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex every day. Every day. Okay, I will pick up some Vivichokes before I head out of town too because I got a bunch in my inventory. And I'll probably make some Leaden Bowl while I can. Let's uh, let's ignore Adaman for a minute. Oh, what's up? Hmm, no, that's not quite right. Just needs that little extra something. Oh, just the girl I need. I could use some help coming up with new hairstyles. I've hit a real wall here. A Pokemon would be great for inspiration, I bet. Right now I'm picturing, yeah, Mistrevis. If I could study a Mistrevis up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new styles. If you manage to catch a Mistrevis, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? Swore I saw another. Yeah, yeah, there's another one out here. What's up? What do you want? Whoa! There's a whole other street coming in. Nice. Yep. Hey, I hear you're quite the Pokemon expert. I was wondering, do you know anything about a Pokemon that has two tail fins? I saw one swimming along the other day, fluttering its two tail fins behind it. It looks so lovely. I was captivated right away. I really want to see that Pokemon again, but this time I'd like to get a good look at it up close. So if you catch a Pokemon with two tail fins, please come show it to me. Double the tails, double the fun. Double the tails with double, 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 double. That's how it goes, right? Um, yeah, let's swing inside, grab some Vivid Choke. And the stuff needed for the leaden ball. Oh, you're itches a little bit. Yeah. All right, um. Let's see, we got Apricorn, we got Black Tumble. Oh, we got all that stuff that we need. Let's move all that to the satchel. That one too. Any other Apricorns? Spoiled Apricorn is not super useful. And then we can, oh, spooky. Craft. All right, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna craft a Leaden Ball. So we'll craft like 10 of those. I rarely even use the heavy balls, so. Then we'll uh, make a bunch of hyper potion. Four of them, I suppose. Oh, I need some pep up plant. Where is the pep up plant? That's hardy grains. Caster fern. Oh, do I not have any? Huh. Well, I'll have to be on the lookout. The Reaper Cloth. All right, we don't need these. Really? Hang on to those. Don't need these. Someone who wanted those, but I don't remember who. Uh, now we'll put that away. Whoops. 
Let's move them all. Move them all. And then we'll organize the satchel. Organize the item box. Cool, and that leaves me, yep, some room. Then let's organize our key items. Nice, we got six of the plates. None of which are useful for me, I guess. Oh well. Um, should I swap out any of my, uh, maybe I should swap out some for the pasture ones. Everybody's doing all right, though. I don't think it, there's like any dead weight in the team, so I don't know. All right, what's up? Hey, it's a Leafeon. All right, Iggy, go around with me. Oh, you bet. Let's do it. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. If you say so. Whoa! He's so angry. Oh yeah, beat him up, Decidui. When did Decidui become uh, level 41? That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, let's air slash. Kakrow. One shot, one kill. Click attack. That ain't nothing. Oh, two. Why do they? I guess because it's quick. It's frustrating to me that a lot of Pokemon are allowed to just go twice. Aura Spear. Got him. Battle decided. Nice. Ooh, a couple level ups. Oh, wow. Yeah, all my guys are much higher level than I realized. It's pretty good. See how good Iggy is now? Yes. No more sneering at her. Humph. Now, I think our help from the Pearl Clan, our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Iggy. Glad to have your help, as always. Melly, shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Aw, oh, come on, Adam Man. Cut me some slack here. Iggy. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Okay. It's a new, new area, right? I get the feeling it's a new area. Your survey work will take you to the Coordinate Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coordinate Highlands, but you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Is it my guy? Is it him? Train boy? Train boy, subway car. Come on, come on. Where are the training grounds at? Where are them training grounds at? There. Right. I think they expect you to spend more time over here. Yes. Yes, him. Him. Hello, Iggy. Wait, we're, uh... This gentleman is Warden Ango. He serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll fit, she'll see fit to help you, however, you can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Like me? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you with a maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Iggy. Good luck up in the Highlands. Yes, Sneezler. It's time. I'm super excited for Sneezler. It's gonna open up so much stuff. Oh, what's going on here? What you got? Fancy buying a sweet treat? Can I interest you in a candy? Oh, XP candies. I'm good. I got like a million of those. Why don't people like my recipe? Jeez. Okay. Do you got a request for me, bud? Now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear a moment, would you lot? I came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries this it says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. 
but a shell of this new creation, there it remains, a salty puddle of my bitter tears. It will likely never see the light of day again. It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but I'd at least like to share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a soot foot root, a springy mushroom, and a hoppo berry. Got that? I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll probably take some time later in the stream to just go through and uh, fill out all the requests that I've completed. Because I think I got like a handful to turn in. I just, you know, the rewards are so not worth it in most cases. Cool. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then looks like there's another region up there. So that'll pretty much cover it. Then I'm guessing I'm going to have to run back around and such. Let's go to the Highlands Camp Coronet. Ah, let's uh, do it. The Coronet Highlands. Hey, Leventon. There you are, my girl. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokémon wandering about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokémon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Good to know. Uh, Decidueye. Give me that rock. Oh. Oh, Scraveler. Oh, where are you looking, bud? Then hit you with the Aura Spear. Yep. Didn't mean to kill it, but oh well. What can you do? Sometimes it's taken out of your control. Ooh, that's a big shit. We're not going that way, though. Yeah, I'm basically just going to fight Pokemon as I go in the hopes that I, uh... Huh? Who could have made it? And how long ago? Oh. Um, in the hopes that I can stay in the correct level range. But well, who knows? I've just been avoiding fights because they seem like kind of a tedious nuisance. But, shouldn't be an issue. Let's go with the Aura Sphere! Easy. All right, do your crunch. I don't even care. Aura sphere, yeah. Hmm. Stop it! Stop it! All right, let me. Oh, actually, no. There we go. Let me try out a legend ball. Dang, they do look heavy, though. They can still whack it up like that. Man. Knock it off. Let's hit it with another leaden ball, I think. I think I soften, soften her up a little bit. There we go. Nice. Uh, and then we will heal up real quick. Yeah, use one of these on Decidueye. I appreciate the status effects don't carry over anymore, because that was always just a nuisance. Annoying. Parasect. Get him. Get him. Hit him with the air slash. Bye, 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 bye. Cool. Yeah, I'll catch them sometimes if they're ones that I want, but for the most part, I don't really think catching is as important. Oh, is that a iron bark tongue? Hmm. Neat. 
Oh, it's a family. Oh, the little one right away. No. Another family ruined by Iggy Kid. His hands have destroyed a thousand happy families. Everyone needs to go to the store. Sometimes. Hit that Yanma. Hit the Yanma. Hypnosis. I won't marry when I air slash you. God, come on. Ooh. Whoa. That's air slash at least. Goodness gracious. Alright, use that on Situai. Did that say Ooh, Bunny Talk can evolve? Evolve. Do it. Do it! I do like having direct control over when they evolve because, like, having to constantly, like, stop it when you don't want it to happen was always super annoying. And your Ponyta evolved into Rapidash. Nice. Uh, one second. I'm gonna write something on my to do list. Cause there's a, there's a couple of things I want to do for the stream. I think this next week, so. There we go. All right. I think I saw another Yanma around here. Yeah, there. Oh, 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 it's all the way down there. Might have, uh, gone a bit far afield. Wait a minute, that's not Yanma, what is that? A Yan Mega. Stop. Stop it. You get air slashed. Ah, damn. I wish they'd show them actually dodging it. You know? It feels so anticlimactic to just be like, uh, you missed. It's like when you do some huge thing in Final Fantasy, like Knights of the Round. It's like a full minute animation. And at the end of it, it's just like, missed. It's like, man, really? It's really, really whips the wind out of your sails. Oh yeah, I gotta figure out a way to go down. It was over here, okay. Hey, sup. You get got. Yeah, I'm just basically gonna grind as I go. Which, usually my thing in Pokemon, ugh, keep dodging around. Usually my thing in Pokemon is that I will just do all of the trainer fights. And are you freaking kidding me? Stop it. Dude! I'll just do all of the trainer fights and that keeps you at a perfect level to just whip through the rest of everything. Which honestly makes most Pokemon pretty boring for me, so, you know. It's a double-edged sword. But, whatever. Um, but then it's like, what's the alternative? I stay under leveled and have to grind. It's like, yeah, what's the point of that? I would very much rather spend my time and energy um, just battling trainers to keep my level up. Whoa. Who, who asked for you? Get him. It's your big boy. Luxray. Is that my Luxray back there? That's, that's not. 
Let's do Aura Spear, strong style. Come on, Decidueye, get him. Get him. Luxio. So there's a middle evolution, I didn't realize. Hmm. Use Magical Leaf. Ah! Dip and a half, dude. Come on. Ah! So obnoxious. See, look at that. He even did a little footwork. It's like a little foot move like that when they dodge. Make it feel so much more interesting than them just standing there and saying, uh, they missed. I don't know. That's just, it's just an animation thing. And like there's, they do have to like hand animate pretty much every move in the game. You know, aside from the ones that share animation, but that's the whole of the deal. Sweet. All right, Crobat leveled up. Nice. Hmm. Let's grab this medicinal leak real quick. And then, we'll, yeah, we'll get you. I know you want to fight me, you little nasty. Magical leaf. Now nah, we'll, well, yeah, we can magical leaf it, I think. Oh, not quite. I was hoping a one shot, but. Like I missed out. Why? Why did they get two moves sometimes? I don't fully understand. I thought that was just like an agile style thing. Just for some reason, they very unfairly get two moves. That's frustrating. Just a touch. And we got some Yanmas. So let's just switch them out. Yanma do look like a pretty nasty bug with those little pincers. Um, yeah, we'll air slash just to be on the safe side. Ah, that tiny bit. We'll get it with the magical leaf. It's plenty enough. Of a choke right over here. There we go. And I got. I've got a little, uh. Okay, slash for ya. Alright. And we will. Ultra Potion Decidueye. Cool. And get Yanma. Caught unawares? Nah. Nah, they spotted me. Alright, alright. Aerial Ace. Wrong style. We'll get him. One shotted. Wood. Would you believe it? It's Friday. All right. And here we are. Whoa. Aerial Ace. Or oh, just strong style that. Oh, no, it was fine. Is this snow or ash? 
could really be either, given our proximity to the uh, mountain there. Get him. Get the Luxio. Oh, we will. Or oh, the sphere. Actually, probably didn't need to strong style it. That might be a little overkill. Yeah, whatever. I don't even care. Get him. Strong style. Match believe. Get him good. Get him cheap. Party greens. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, it really is. Strong stuff. Nice. Just whipping through these guys. It feels honestly a little unfair. It's getting late. It's getting late. I shouldn't all too much longer. Ah, I'll be good. Wait, no, a strong style aerially. <laughs> Thought I saw another one over here. Oh well. Ooh, and I see a will of the wisp over there, but I don't think I'll be able to get it even with uh Basky Legion, so I'll be back. I'll be back for that. Here's Ingo. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall, but its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokémon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokémon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's a tough old life for Pokémon and humans alike. Yeah, I saw it. Well, well, we're an Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me, if you dare. Absolutely not. Hump. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams, anyway, if Electro loses a few sparks out here in the, 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 the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokémon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Iggy? Uh, press on. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Iggy, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokémon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Good to know, good to know. They always gotta have a dang cave, you know? One sec. Uh, gonna text my roommates real quick.
yeah, I was just saying, we're talking about like dinner stuff, but I keep getting emails from DoorDash with uh, 50% off coupons where they're like, if you, you know, just uh, use this code and you get half off, you get half off your next three meals, but it, they never work. I always enter the code and they're like, you're not eligible for this. It's like, you emailed it to me though. What are you talking about? Annoying, annoying. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. Can I go faster? I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here. I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please, follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. Please don't fall behind. We must keep on schedule. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... What is it? Oh, the torches. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My, safe is, my safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Okay. Ooh, an iron chunk. Yum, 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 yum. It's a gold bitch. It's a ruddy gold bitch. I'll take him out. Ah, looks like this was not the best choice. Let's, um... Pokemon, yeah, let's see. Pikachu. Swap out Pikachu. Pikachu! Hit him with the Thunderbolt. Strong style. Nice. Oh, well, the exit's right here. I had to fight one gold bat, and I'm good. Man. Ain't too much to do sometimes. Professor Leventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in my in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Sure. Keep on keeping on. Couple of gold bats we need to attack. You got it. Yeah. 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 Fighting. There we go. Got him. Got him. Get him. Good. 
Thunderbolt. I've defeated Golbat. Perfect. Um, who am I gonna use next? Why, it's Crobat, I think. Yes, for bug type, it's Crobat. Um, 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 crunch. Excuse me, swing, but I'll do it. Cross poison. Get him. Get him. I got him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no room for the dazzling honey. That's quite all right. Side attack. Oh, it might be good against Psycho. Hmm. Oh, well. Strong style. Crunched him up. All right. Get some of that. Oh, there's a gold duck over there. Pikachu. Fight him. Yeah, that's the thing. They're more dangerous if you don't fight them. But it's, most of them will go down in like a second in a fight. So why wouldn't you go after him like that? Seems the right way to do it. Sup, gold duck. Get him. Get him. Wrong style. Oh. Oh, he's got a lot of defense. I think we'll be okay. Oh, oh, one more, one more. Yeah, sure, use water, I don't care. Oof, yeah, that got me. Okay, um, uh, Haunter. Haunter has surprisingly few ghost type moves. I should probably fix that at some point here. God, you know, it's a minor thing, but I hate that when they're low health and you, uh, and you finish them off, the health goes down super slow. It would be so much more satisfying if it just, like, um, if it just, bam, down, you know? I don't know. It's, it's like a minor thing, but it's like, it is frustrating. Do, do, do. That's a pip up plant. Oh, I don't got room for my pip up plant. All right, let's uh, heal Crobat back up. And we'll use some of these regular potions. Should only need a couple each. Nice. And also nice. And Pikachu. At you. And got him. All right, uh, I need to use the restroom. So I'm actually gonna, gonna BRB, so don't go anywhere, don't touch the internet dial. I'll BR back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute, okay? Okay.
All right, here we are back at it. So yeah, we're heading over this way. I guess there's a request over here. I'll get that another time though. We're we're gonna continue on with the main quest for right now. You know, is it foot root? Oh, can't get it. Stantler, what is Stantler weak against specifically? What even type is Stantler? Just normal? Yeah, I guess it's just normal. Yeah, whatever. Five levels over. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ah! Wasting my bloody time! Annoying. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I should have sent out Pikachu. Oh, whatever. Hit okay, him with a... Air Cutter. Strong style. Whoa. Ooh, came back with his own, eh? Let me get two shots in because I use a strong style. Sometimes they get two shots even when I don't, though. And that's annoying. Get him. Get him, Crowback. Get him. Cross poison. Nice. Ooh, is that an alpha? Yeah, that's an alpha. Do we wanna fight the alpha? Probably not, it's probably like level 50, right? Might be pretty useful though. Let's take out all the little ones first. Pump ourselves up a little bit. Aerial ace. Why is he wearing a little diaper? Nice. No, right. Butterflies and molds don't wear diapers. I don't even know if they do that. You know what I mean. I needn't. Needn't explain myself other. We're just gonna hit you with the aerial ace. Uh, I should heal up Crobat real quick before I get into this. He'll be my backup. Just in case the CPY isn't enough. Whoa, hey friend. Hey friend. We're gonna get you now. Yeah, cut off. Great. I think I should be able to manage. He is an alpha, but it's also, you know, spug type. They're weak. Weak. Moth. Oh, uh, level 55. A little more than I expected. Yep, a little more than I expected. Wow. That was ridiculous. I'm gonna hit you strong style with the air cutter. There we go. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Refresh my decidui. Actually, Ingo will probably heal me up. I'm gonna ignore that Paris. I don't, I don't care. 
Hello? What's the big idea putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. well this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokémon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet a Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokémon. How will you proceed, Iggy? I'll beat him. Easy. Easy! He's a chump. Go, Skuntank! Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Ew. I also don't like how it... Like an alien face. Yeah, this is no problem, dude. Fire Blast Strong Style. One shot, one kill. Oh, okay, maybe I'll need a second shot, but should be okay. Go on then, do it, do it. I didn't care. I don't even use my Rapidash that much. I'll send out Gistardon, he's got grand type moves. I'll take out in a second. Uh, hit him with the mud bomb. Yeah, no problem. I got a full team, he's got one Pokemon. Ridiculous. Ooh, Hunter has a new move. Listen here, neither I, neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. <coughs> Excuse me, our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skuntank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical, re tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. Okay. I figured he'd run away. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Sure. Oh, you didn't heal me up there, Ingo. Could you, uh, could you, please? Please, I need it. Yeah, it's a bunch of rocks. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. It's weird how so much of this, even though we are way back in time, is still about ancient stuff? Like, it's still super historic. It's like, literally within itself, we're in a historical time period, but then we're talking about their history even further back. It's, it's, it's an interesting story decision, I'd say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I want to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame. But then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Iggy, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Iggy? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Uh, I saw nothing. No, 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 no. Not one thing. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Uh, that makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this space, same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant, see what I mean? Distant past. We're in the distant past. And then it's their distant past that they're talking about. Like, why does it always have to be looking backwards? We can't, like, just talk about the here and now? That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Iggy have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. 
I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Iggy. Until next time, then. Later. Bye-bye. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Hmm. I like that. I mean, I don't need to hide. I'm plenty strong. Yeah, he's only level 30. Who gives a two? Earth power. Destroyed. I just, so much of this is based around like, ooh, Pokemon are dangerous, or real, real scary. Don't, don't get caught. But it's like, you're not though. They're just kind of annoying if you're not fighting them. And if you're fighting them, it's like, they're like, piece of cake. Like, I could hide, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Bronze on. Yeah, we'll just go strong style. Slightly stronger, strong style. Absolutely destroyed. Not even a moment of hesitation required. There we go. I'd be healed up at some point through here. It's not like a huge deal, but again, a little, a little worse for wear. He's a little worse for wear. Hey, 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 hey. Get him. Oh, it's a ring. Oof. What is he? Fighting type? I should actually probably use. Robat? Actually, let me just check what we got. Oh, fighting would be useful against him. Well, that's fine. We'll just use ancient power. Strong style. Get him. can do a lot. But Gastrodon is a hearty, hearty friend. Sure. No. No, Gastrodon. Gastrodon, no. Uh. Yeah, we'll just send out Crobat. So I'm actually gonna try and catch him them all, as they say. Use a leaden ball. Let's do it. Got him. Oh, jeez, I'm getting all dusty. Covered into ashes. All right, we'll, we'll avoid you for now. In fact, let's just stantler our way across. I'm a little weak at the moment, so. Eshim? Ah, oh, you're part of the Galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all, uh, you all were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you can find out what it is Bronzor wants? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. What's up, little buddy? What do you want? Zor. Looking. You wanna, is there something over that way? Uh. 
Yeah, we'll deal with you later. Let me just... Back. There we go. I think something important about, uh... One of the important aspects of making a, a an interface that feels good is universal commands. Like there, I was I went into the wrong menu, so instead of backing out first, I just hit the button for the other menu and it did a different thing. But like just making it not reassigning buttons based on the context of the menu means that like, it, it, it just feels more fluid, you know? It means that if you, you... It's what you do on instinct. You instinctively just go for the button you meant to push. And if that just doesn't do what you want it to, then it takes you a minute to reset. That's bad flow. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, if you're using your iPhone, one of the great things about the iPhone is it literally has a single button. So, if you ever want to go back to the home screen, at any point, you just... Hit the button, and it always works that way. No matter what app you're in, if you push the button once, it takes you home. Um, you know, so I just, yeah, I'm just always so baffled by stuff that can't get that simple concept. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret. Some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in Asui, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Iggy? All right. Who do you got? Who's your Pokemon? All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. He's got three Pokemon. That kind of a disadvantage. Half my team's knocked out. Go, Crobat. I think Crobat will do okay, right? right? Yeah, flying is good against fighting style. Gotcha. One hit, one kill. Tangle. No. Okay. No. Yeah, deal. Well, that's fine. I will use cross poison. You got killing you. Cross poison. A game that'll make you say, I'm gonna spray you with the balls, get everywhere. Else. <laughs> Defeated. Gliscor. No thanks. You can stop anytime. No thank you! Deal. Well, I think. Not super great, but Swift might be able to help us through this. And I ain't talking Taylor. Okay. Yeah, three of those should do it. Never mind. Get out of here, Blizzcore. I appreciate that it just automatically goes to that. Hold on, we'll use a revive on Decidueye. Yup. That was the correct move. Just gonna hit with the magical leaf, I think. Strong style. Should do a decent. Ah, oh, no! 
No! Oh, that was so close. It's not even that I need a stronger team of Pokemon. It's that my Pokemon were dead. Yep, yeah, let's do it. I'm, I appreciate it doesn't send you through all the dialogue again and just skips you right to the battle question. That is something a lot of games need to do more. Ingo sent out Machoke. Go, Crobat. Throw me right in the bats. All right, let's, yeah, let's hit him with the air cutter. Agile style. That's Yeah, let's go Agile style. If I can get two of those in, even if they're weaker, that's still 90. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just wasted my time. Could have one-shot him. Ah, <sighs> baby. One of the most useless kinds of rounds you can wind up with in Pokemon. They attack! They dodge. They attack! They dodge. Just do something. Alright, we're just gonna... Air Cutter Strong style. Ah, oh, come on! God, I feel like attacks miss so much more in this than any other Pokemon I've played really obnoxious, especially because they literally set it up to look like you will actually see them dodging and stuff, like I said. So if they did that, I'd be like, yeah, okay, if it was more like almost Pokémon Tournament, but, um, but turn-based, I'd be fine with that. Are you kidding me? Why does he get to hit me three times? I do not understand why they get so many, so many more, uh, Attacks and all this like so much about this system is baffling to me Because I figure it's just the standard Pokemon system, but It's got, it's got all sorts of weird stuff going on. There we go. Glizcore Dunzo Battle decided Bravo excellent Level up. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Make... Yeah, it's the same tune every time. How do they know which one I'm calling? If they all the same tune? <laughs> She's so sassy. Snar. Big hand. Allow me to introduce you, Iggy. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Yeah. Gonna play the same tune. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, -loo -loo. Ooh, -loo -loo -loo. <laughs> Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, thanks for the toxic plate. A stone tablet infused with ba 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 da It allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the poison type. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilife Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! You can now call Sneasler to scale and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. We'll get, who made that basket for her, though? That's my question. Here we go. It's Sneaseling time. Dang, she really gets it. Look at her hip hop. Yeah, this is gonna make moving around a lot of the other areas. I don't have to Bethesda around anymore. Uh, on, uh, on one hand, good, but on the other hand, it was a little sad. <laughs> you can see my little eyes poking out. That's cute. That's cute. 
All right, and we're just gonna go straight ahead. I think we're leveled enough that we don't need to deal with this place for the most part. Can she run? Can she run? She cannot. Climbing up. Oh, snap, it's that guy. Oh, snap, it's that guy. A bigger version of the other guy. All right, yeah, we made it up pretty quick. Celestica Ruins, sure. Jeez Louise, hold on. Let me switch over to Weird Ear for a minute, because Sneasler do not run very quick. And then we'll... Yeah, we'll just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I wish Sneasler and Weird Deer were, like, right next to each other in the thing, because this is a little obnoxious having to go a full two around. Now, what is strong? I believe ground is strong against electric, right? So I'll want my Gastrodon on deck. What's up? You gonna react? Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. You still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat? You and your little Pokémon are welcome to give it your best shot. I mean, we already did this. Silent Deadliness, yeah. I literally had no trouble last time crushing you. I don't know why you think it's gonna change. Oh yeah, you got a couple other guys, I guess, hanging out. Sure. Earth power. Let's do it. Wait, did his skun tank, like, go up and level? Is he leveling on his way up here? That's rude. Real rude. Strong style. Uh oh. Strong bite. Arr, arr, arr. Let me get a shot in. What is this? He get he uses strong style and he gets two turns before I get to do anything. I uh, I'm so frustrated by how this system works, man. Like, they, they act like it's gonna be fair, but it's not. They're constantly able to get way more hits in than you can. And it's there's like no rhyme or reason to it. It's very, very frustrating. Most of the time, I'm strong enough to one-shot them, but then I don't get an option because it's like two moves until I get to do anything and they get me first even though I was stronger. I swear to God, you better heal me back up, you freaking butthole. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked, uh, time. Yep, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Adam Man is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and all my Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some balms for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. Man, you're a terrible lord, my guy. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make balms. Melly's, uh... Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Iggy? Guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electro likes. So here's the... Adam, man! But now? I could hear you just now, you know? You're really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? 
Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. Sorry, Melly, I can't write off these frenzies as some trial for Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Iggy here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand. Both of you. Okay. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. You did, though. You really did. Totally shirked. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Okay, if you say so. I... So even, yeah. Yes, I'm ready to battle. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to just pluck, battle, battle him, fight. Yep. Got it. Let's go. It's just too much pomp and circumstance. Just let me fight the thing. Like, if you guys want to be open world, you got to minimize the cutscene so I can actually enjoy the openness of it. Like, let me just run in here and he's already moving around so I can fight him or something. Whoa. Ah. Yep. Oh, oh, yep, there it is. Lord of the Hollow, Electrode. Come on. They keep doing that, but it's like, if you give them all this exact same title, then it's like, it doesn't even matter. Oof. Like, when they do that in Dark Souls, they're actually calling them something different. Or even in, like, uh, Ocarina of Time, it's like something unique to each specific boss, so that it gives you a sense of, like, their title and makes them seem grand. When they do it here, it's just the same thing every time, so it's like, yeah, I know you're a lord. I've been missing this whole time. Come on. Come on. Hard to tell because he's so dang bright. And there's so much noise going on that I can't hear when it makes the good noise. There it is. Just gotta get closer, I guess. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Come on now. Let me. God, I have to get so close. The depth on this is so weird. Can I please, please just let me fight him now? Ugh. These bosses are so tedious, man. Like, it, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to do, like, a Dark Souls-y thing, but it's, like, it's just so watered down that it's, like, there's not... It doesn't feel difficult. It just feels slow. Like, half of the reason Dark Souls works is because there's a flow to it, but this is just, like, hard cut, do a, a move for, like, a full, like, 40 seconds or something, then do something else... Especially, this electrode is really bad about it. Box is ridiculous. Where's it at? Cause I'll, I'll keep like hitting what looks like I should be hitting him, but then it doesn't. Can I like hit that? Can I bomb it? Nope. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, come on, dude. Let me, let me out of here. 
Let me out. You can tell in playtesting, people were like, this is too easy, so they added this little, like, ball that follows you. Uh, Gastrodon, Gastrodon. There it is. What? Are you kidding? I missed my chance. I mi I just missed it. I was- I did it so quickly! Ah. I just- there's so much in the concept for this game that I'm down with. But they just dropped the ball in so many, like, vital spots that it just lacks polish. Like, it feels like they should have spent more time on it to really iron out some of these, like, major wrinkles. You know, make sure the controls are really solid. Like, I frankly didn't need to have the Pokemon catching as a mechanic just because that's a thing that, you know, is in other Pokemon games. This is already different enough that you guys could have just done something totally different without Pokemon catching, like observation or something, like, say, a survey. But no, instead it's just a water down. It, it's just like a super ambitious idea that's really not that different. Like just because there's free movement and you can see the Pokemon does not make it like, not make it um, substantially different from standard Pokemon. These battles could have used a lot more work. Can I throw out a Pokemon yet, dude? Please? Can I heal up, I think is the real question. All right, uh, gas gone. What? Why? It won't let me do battle! It keeps saying that, I throw one in, and then it doesn't actually let me fight! Why does it keep doing that? Am I just missing the window, or what? I don't know how they expect me to throw bombs with this in the way. Oh my god, two of them? Are you kidding me? Ah, no, no! Come on. Yes, restart the battle. this goddamn ball following me around. What can I, can I do anything about it? Other than just get hit? It's so annoying. Like, if that weren't here, this fight would be so much more manageable, but instead, it's just actually absurd, dude. Just, why can't I use, like, a potion or eat a food or something? Just anything to fix my health. Like, it doesn't regenerate like it does out in the field. Hitting him is so, so annoying. Oh. Get out of the way. Okay, okay. Yep, there we go. Gastrodon, go, fight. Finally! Oh my god, it's just a tiny window, I guess. Please. Oh my god! Just let me attack him! Let me, d let me do something before he absolutely destroys my best Pokemon against him. There we go, that's it, that's all I needed. Yep, 
for all the bombs I can. That was it? That was all the chance I got? Man, they gave me like no time. I'm just gonna let those hit me because they're less of a pain than dealing with them and dodging around and trying to throw bombs. Yeah, they don't even do that much damage. Why would I care? Eat your food! Eat your food! Let me get him. He's so close. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Oh my god! Yeah, so the strategy there is just get hit by the things because they don't do very much damage. Great. Good good boss design, guys. Just don't dodge sometimes. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's move on. Hum. Upset. Grumpy. Hmm. You rece received the zap plate from Electrode. That's so many plates now. Yeah, like two each region. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes. But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adaman. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive, right on schedule. And what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after Iggy told me the honor of traveling with me. Took the honor of... Things to do with the world where I believed I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokémon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokémon trainers. The ones we called Pokémon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked for looked toward the next challenge and had Pokémon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokémon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokémon, and with their opponents and their Pokémon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokémon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokémon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Well, what was your world? Was your world like Ingo described too, Iggy? Sure was. Never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has re realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokémon that need to be strong; it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokémon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adaman, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right, open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow. Get, bring me not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Iggy. Surely lies with the next lord. Now this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Iggy to show that Pokémon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I, own com I owe Commander Kamado my, my, my report. Until next time, Iggy. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sido really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. And it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Hmm. Cool. Alright, we're just gonna fast travel to do, 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 the camp. Yeah, going to the camp, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 
talk to Leventon. Caught two Pokemon, yep. Nice. A thousand dollars. And new observations. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of points. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, you quelled the Lord Electrode? Splendid job as always, my girl. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Kamado. All right, and with that, I'm gonna take another break. Probably gonna be my last one of the stream, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch that air dial. I'll be our back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. Okay, okay.
All right, let's finish this stream out with another good chunk of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We'll uh, drop some things off in our inventory real quick. Yeah, we don't need things like the spoiled apricorns in our inventory. Wood. Wood. Get him out of here. I ain't asked for none of that. All right. Let's get going. Actually, wait a minute. I think I want, uh, Haunter has a new move, I think, right? Shadow Ball. Dark Pulls. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's replace that one. And we'll replace Astonish. Cool. Oh, nope. Confirm is what I want. Yes. All right. Now let's swing around. Talk to Kamado. Can't really talk to Selene yet. Don't have the stuff I need, but hopefully will eventually here. Do, 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 do. All right. Um. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokémon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. Cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles so frenzy? Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokémon? Well, far be it from me, from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokémon. What is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Yep, the usual. What y'all gotta say? Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our pro progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, or at least less dangerous, task. But can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hisui? Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Iggy. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You'll let your actions do the speaking for you, Iggy, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilife Village now. The next day. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the Commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Sometimes they make you walk, sometimes they don't. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. Uh, on to the next one. When, wor uh, when words of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I worried, uh, I feared what would become of us. And here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Ice Lands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Arita told me. Sure. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalug may be the, uh... Avalug may be the Pro Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Aslands. Until then... All right. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Hmm, yes, yes. Yeah! Oh! Who did that? Oh, it's a Wurmple. Uh, Abra, teleport this Wurmple outside, at once! Get him out of here. Eat your bug. Selene's afraid of bugs then? That's the deal? Ahem. So, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. If you intend to go, show me you're equal to the challenge by earning your fifth star. Witness Pokémon using moves in various styles. Catch Pokémon at different times. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank. And aid with any requ any requests that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Hmm. Doesn't really end up with many on his blackboard. Alright, so yeah, we gotta... Gotta grind out some stuff there. Um, but I think I can fulfill some requests. So let's see what we got. Uh, don't have that one yet. Still working on that. Probably do that. Ground type. I'm pretty sure I've got more ground types at this point. Right? I have to have gotten, like, at least one ground type. Right? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Get out of the way! He always just hangs out on the bridge. Obnoxious. Yep. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. Hippopotas. Yeah, take him. I don't care. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wowie, it's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? Talent. Skills. And seems we're done here. What a trooper. Awesome, fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a little longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. Cool. Oh, is farming a thing I can do? I didn't even realize. Covered in leaves. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. Oh no, Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Huh. If it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Ah, this conversation is getting us nowhere. You both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. We might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Hisui, and I've seen them back in my own region too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my. You must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you. We're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We 
You could figure out which of us is right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burmy. Catch one and come show it to us, would you? Yeah, I got one right here. Let me, let me just do the thing. I got this one. Burmy is a... Uh... Oh, okay, so I gotta specifically do a leaf one. Uh, yeah, I got one in here somewhere. There. There you go. Yep, this is a Burmy, all right. It's similar, dear, I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. Yeah, I ain't buying it. This ain't a Burmy. Well, if the real deal can't convince these two, I guess we'll need to look at the fake Burmy, too. Could you catch, try to catch both the so-called Burmy that my companions here were talking about? Uh, yeah, I got the, this one I think is, I think is the one. This little one is the real Burmy. Uh, I guess it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, I gotta agree. Where's its trash at, huh? Honestly, how can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? I suppose we'll need to compare it to those false Burmy. Oh my god, I, do I have one of the Tarush trash ones? I guess this is the only other one I've seen. I don't know, is that trash? Yeah, well, sucks to be y'all. Oh my god, it's a whole quest line? Get out of here. I'm wasting my time. What other, what else do I have? Um. Uh, Rosalia. Yeah, let's let's go do that. God, all these people are just whiners. Just accept it, guys. Come on. Yeesh. No, I have to go out of town to do that one, so we're gonna do a different one first. No, nah, don't have that one. Oh, I got plenty of pop pods, so yeah, I'll just have to swing by my inventory here. Yeah, grab thing. Come on, dude. Uh, I need three. Why is he so picky? Why does he need three? Gonna give him just one. And in we go. Whoop. Downstairs, right. I always forget there is a downstairs. If it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lady of the Ridge, what can I do for you? You're running errands for Troy again. Saying a customer to negotiate for him once was bad enough, but twice was his spine. Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get pop pods. Sheesh! Wait, you've got pop pods? Would you let me have some? Please, just three! Sure. Ah, pop pods, the Cobalt Coastland's finest feature. You often find them. Yeah, I know. That's I got them, dude. All right, good. You don't need to tell me. I know. I got them. Man, splaining. Boomerism. If I ever heard it.
We've got new goods in stock thanks to you. I hope you can get the things out. The excellent new items. Do buy some. Yep. This isn't getting my stuff up at all, dude. Let me see. Hold on. I'll find out what his request is. What do you want? What do you want? Need new goods. Crunchy salt. Gotcha. I haven't got any, so we're gonna look at what else I got. In terms of requests. Double the tails, double the fun. Double the tails and double, double, double. Oh yeah, I got that. That way. Asagi. Asagi. Go through the back. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Me and Sneaky. Oh, there's a Will of the Wisp back here. During the daytime. That's interesting. Four wisps remaining. Oh, that's it. I can't bust my way out. Oh, yeah, there we go. What's up? Did you find the Pokemon with the tail I'm looking for? Yeah, it's Glam Meow. Yes, this is it. It's just as I remember the elegant sway of its tail, that charming spiral shape, and the enchanting way it bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable. Wow. Aw, oh, this little Meow is adorable as well. You got attached to me there, kitty? Oh, the dilemma. Pokemon are scary, but maybe this little and I will get along just... Ah! The darn thing scratched me! He's a cat, you know. Guess got a little carried away there. Thanks for showing me your glam meow anyway. This tail, at least, was a joy to see. One day, when I find the Pokemon with the perfect tail for me, I'd like to become fast friends with it, just like you and your partner, Pokemon. I don't specifically have... That's the thing that they always say, right? Like, partner Pokemon, like a specific Pokemon, but it's like... That's not how I've ever played Pokemon. Uh, don't care. I don't have one. Wanda, maybe, eventually. Uh, I need auxiliary. Octillery. And then, yeah, I have all of these items. So, Sootfoot, Springy, and Hopo. So let's go. Sootfoot, Root, Springy, Mushroom, Hopo, Berry. Oh, somebody else has a thing. What do you want, buddy? Oh, right, that's... The guy was gonna help. Gotta grab the stuff first. Hmm, <coughs> excuse me. Where is the soot foot root? Alright, move one of those. Springy mushroom. Move one of those. And then hoppo berry. Is there. Okay. Only really took me like in less than 10 minutes to get these done, so then I'm gonna go out and grind out to 5 star. If you've brought the, yep, yeah, I'm ready to learn. Hand it over, hand it over, hand it over. Then learn from the master. He's doing it. He's doing it! You obtained a swap snack. When eaten, this curious snack temporarily swaps a Pokemon's offensive stats with its defensive stats. Well, if that isn't just typical of our famed survey record recruit, took to it like a Finian to water. Swap snacks seem to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stats for a time. It's a curious sort of mix-up, not at all what I was going for, but life serves up all kinds of surprises. Do you survey core folks end up fighting against all sorts of different Pokemon, don't ya? If anyone can find good use for my swap snacks, I'm sure it'd be someone like you. Hmm. 
Nice. Um, that seems like it'd be useful if you had like a Metapod or something. Just get like max defense and then... Oh, mass outbreak. Sure. Uh, and then just like, yeah, hit that to swap them. Could be strategic. All right, Crimson Mylands. Let's. Yeah, let's just wreck shop on some dudes. We'll mud bomb you. Oh. Don't. Okay. Don't waste my time. Mud bomb. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna grind out some Pokedex. To, uh, yeah, hopefully get us up to level five. Well, not level five, star rank five. Earth power. Power frankly feels like overkill. I think I could probably get him with the standard one. I need to find another side duck. Oh, I might get got. Get got. And just hit you with Ember. Up. Where the side ducks at? Are they big and fat? Where to find those guys? <laughs> the way the rapid dash was looking, just like, what is this deal right here? Yeah, well, hey, what? You just popped out of nowhere. Do 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 Slash. Cricketot I can ignore because I've already finished them. Get him. Benno Shock. Hicks. Uh, let's send with a shadow. Nice. And just uh, hit you. See what we can do with the Amber. No, he survived that. I'm like double his level. Come on, dude. Go down. You ain't impressing anybody. No one's impressed. Just go down. All right, Amber. Again, will the burn will hurt him? Don't care. Doesn't do damage, and. About to be over, anyways. 
There we go. Get him. Get him. Oh yeah, I guess Rapidash isn't great here. Because he's water psychic. So yeah, let's let's haunt her. Yep, 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 yep. And uh Shadow Ball. There's another carnivine. Let's grab some berries. And we'll just take them out. Alright, and... Yeah, we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna fire blast. Kept doing ember because I thought it wouldn't be too big a deal, but... Ended up being kind of a big deal. Blast. Nice. Let's just swing this way. See if we can find more carnivines. Mm, that's most of what I'm looking for. I barely touched on their, their situation. Pick me up. I remember there being a bunch of them up here. Oh, maybe a bunch is a overstatement, but uh, cricket tune. Get some of those guys. Oh, okay. Just hit him with the. Uh, air slash. Come on, man. Wow. Did 27 damage. And... Get some berries. Maybe it was up there. What's that? Oh, hey, lick a tongue. They're normal type, I think. Which means kind of any special strong against them, isn't it? Fighting, fighting is good. Sweet. Not sure where I remember all those carnivines being. Oh, hey. All right. Yeah, this is really all I needed to uh, keep going with the wisps. Hey, knock it off. If you want to go, I'll go. Go right now. I'm gonna have a go if you think you're hard enough. Stop it. You silly boy. Yeah, there we go. One shot. There's some stuff up here, but not anything I really wanted. This is this fifth choke. Why would I waste my time? It's now Sneasler. I'm right here. Hmm. 
Yeah, air slash. We'll play it safe. Oh. Some cut down trees here. Oh, yeah, because it's the camp. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's sneezler our way up here. Oh, I thought the Will of the Wisps could only be seen at night. I just it's any time. No, go down. He 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 did the snack. What are they? They're like rock type, right? Or are they ground type? I don't know. Don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll hit you with earth power. That seems a mite silly. And let's try and catch this one. Oh, okay. You won't ever go. I'll, I'll take you right now. Yeah, I don't even mind. Straight to the great ball. Ah, oh, you got out. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you come from? Bit. Yeah, let's give it another shot. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, not quite. Oh, no. Okay. Could have been worse. There we go. Defeated. All right, and then we're gonna swing back and turn some of these in, I think. Take a rest. Just a little while. And Leventin. Catching them gets you more money. But just whatever gives you a bunch of observations. Yep. What? That's it? That's all I get? I did all of that. I did all of that and I got a hundred and fifty. Are you kidding me, man? Um, okay, I guess we're gonna have to be systematic with it. Let's look at what's around here. Uh Porion, I only have the one. Zubat. Let's do some more cricket tune, I think. What was it again? What did it say? X scissor caught without being spotted, number caught in general. So we'll just be sneaky and catch them without being spotted as best we can. 
Yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, he's, he's being aggressive, so we'll just ignore him for now. Standard Cricket Tot. Where might a Cricket Tune be? Hmm. Guess not here. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do some Carnivine, since we're around. There we go. Ooh, and that was a large one. Oh. <sighs> Alright, I'll fight ya. I'll fight ya. Him with the ember. It's level 17. Who cares? I don't even care. <laughs> Should be some more cricket tot around here, right? Cartoon. No, those are scun tanks. Well, Sneasel. Sneasler. Sneasel me. She's so fast. Alright, this area. A lot of cricket tots. Cricketune, maybe? There's a cricket tot, at least. There's a lick tongue. Crawly. Snake that guy. Hasn't seen me. Hasn't seen me. Hasn't seen me. Get him. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's real nice. Just being able to sneasel your way up. And it literally, it just has like a context sensitive thing right here. That's the things that should be context sensitive based on the game world, right? Where it basically creates a shortcut to the thing you want to do anyways. Don't keep the menus context sensitive because then they become confusing and unintuitive. And if you're fumbling with the menus, it ruins your flow. Oh yeah, there is a Geodude outbreak over here. I should probably go check that out. That's it. Just four of the boys. None of them are even shining. All right, all right. Y'all insist. I'll fight the whole crew. Nothing. Nothing. Did 
they each get two moves now? Why? Sincerely, why do these ones... Why do the enemies get two moves sometimes? It's not just when I use, like, strong style or whatever when it should be happening. It's like, literally, it feels random. And it feels super unfair. Mass Outbreak really just means four of them, eh? That's it. This is not like... Actually, I thought it'd be like 20 of them or something. I mean, four is like a, a lot to be in one spot, I guess, but... It's not that much. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, there's like a bunch more here, eh? Uh, let me check my Pokedex for you guys, actually. Alright, I finished down my Pokedex for you guys, so I don't care. Are no shinies? Who cares? I'm wasting my dang time. Thoughts on Big Chungus? Large. Spelt L-O-R-J. Large. Those are all the thoughts I need. Thanks for coming in, by the way. Gangar. We are uh, grinding out because I need to get to the fifth star level before I can go and go to the fifth area and do the uh, final, final lord. Then I presume I'll have to get up to level six before I can do the last, last thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can be poetic about it, or you can be just straightforward about it. But all I know is truly an, a massive unit of a fella, that big chungus. Hey, uh, go away. Go away. Oh, I don't even have enough room for that. Mm. Grab the pivot choke. Whoa. The falls in this game are really silly looking. Where you just um, automatically like, whoa. Whoa. And you can fall from a pretty high height before it starts mattering. Oh, let's get the stinky boy. Let's get us a, a stinky fella. Haven't got one of those yet, so that'll that'll count as a decent observation. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna block you. That's inappropriate. Not. Comfortable with that talk, bud. I don't, I don't know if you were leading to a joke or anything, but I don't know you, so uh, yeah, not, not appropriate. Like if you want to make those kind of comments, you gotta kind of know somebody first to like know if they're comfortable with that, dude. And just come out of the gate. And we're gonna go with. Uh, well, actually, let's hit Magic Leap so that we can still catch her. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, no, no, I want the uh, this here.
Throw it. Just go for it, man. I'm high level enough. Don't matter. Got him. Nice. Nice. Did that say Sneasler on that tiny rock? I'm not gonna waste my time sneezling on that tiny little rock, dude. That's that's silly. Got him. I'll hide over here in case they bust out. Nope. Didn't. We're looking. Look away. Oh, come on. That's not do it. Did he spot me already? Okay. This is a whole dang great ball. That's annoying. Ah! It's so annoying because I just have to get in and just immediately try and catch it, but... Throw it. a lot grinding. I think between streams could I? Actually let's let's try an ultra ball. This seems a little ridiculous. No, I've wasted my ultra ball. No man. I only have one. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's what I get, I guess. I'm trying to be sneaky. Je suis boo boo le fool. Oh well. No, no, I'm gonna have to fight him. I don't even care, dude. Fight me. Get out of here, Krogunk. We're doing our own thing over here, dude. Uh. Yeah, Gastrodon. Pop. Pop Gastrodon out there. Sure. Yeah, I'll deal with you in a second, Krogon. Stop it. Great ball it. Actually, it's even leaden ball it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Nope. I don't want to kill you, man, but you're going to give me sass. Agile, uh-oh. Oh my goodness. I might just have to kill him. I don't want to though. I want to catch him.
Come on, catch. Catch him. Oh my god. Please. Alright, we're just gonna kill it. Or, oop, maybe not. It's pretty low on health. Let's give it, let's give it another shot here. Crow Gunk, nobody invited you, dude. Dude! Ah! Use the leaden ball. Get him. Finally, my God. Went through my whole freaking team. Yeah, and then we're gonna take you down too, Crow Gunk. Get in the ball. Upsetty. Goodness. All right, we're going back to the Meyerlands camp. We're gonna turn stuff in, heal up, and that'll do it for today, I think. I could use a rest. Just a little while. Just a little while. Yeah, let's go. Do it. Nice. Sure. Well, uh, okay. Sure, it seems arbitrary. I'm going to continue my excursion, but I'm not gonna continue it this time. Like I said, uh, I'm going to off stream, take some time to get up to level, uh, star rank, maybe I'll wait until I get to star rank six just to be safe because I feel like the last area is going to require star rank six. So I'm going to grind off stream between streams and then next Friday we'll, <coughs> we'll be ready to go to the next area with the next Lord. But in any case, the, oh, come on, do the thing. There we go. In any case, thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to follow and subscribe. Check out my socials, my Discord. I have a Twitter, YouTube, YouTube stream archive with all my past stuff. There's a past broadcast tab. All of that stuff we're going to raid over to someone. But I hope to see you guys on Monday for Miscellaneous Mondays, which is a wild card game. Who knows what it'll be? I don't know yet. I usually decide the day of, but uh, I hope you'll... You'll join me for that. Should be fun. In any case, thank you guys very much for watching. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see who there is to raid over to on, on this lovely Saturday. I always, I just end up uh, muting it by instinct half of the time. Am I? Yeah, I'm still being heard. Cool. All right. Who is there to raid over to? Vapor Bobble. I like Vapor Bobble. So we will stream over to them. Slash raid. Vapor Bobble. All right. Enjoy their stream. Let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend. See y'all on Monday, everybody. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. A goodbye.